Welcome to my channel, I'm Bea. My channel is about art journaling, mixed media, collage, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey all, I'm glad you're back for another video. It is a collaboration again. We are four artists who make for each season a background. Then we share the backgrounds digitally. And after that, everybody is free to do whatever artwork they want. I have started my background by adding some metallic watercolor in pink, red and yellow all over the page. So far, nothing special. But as you can see here, I want to add a second layer with a stencil. To have a better contrast, I added some color from the Jane Davenport marker. They are really intense in pigment. And of course, I'm gonna use a sponge. Additionally, I also do lift up some color of the first layer which can easily be done with the wet wipe. This is my original. I'm gonna work on that this time and this is uh, the background from Gina, which I have printed on computer paper. I do have a laser printer. This is from Shell C and this is from PEG. So let's see what I come up with. And uh, don't forget, I will have all the links for, from the other artists down below in the description box. So go check out what everybody is doing with our four backgrounds. With no further ado, let's dive in. And I think I'm gonna do use it like that. And I'm gonna draw a face. I used the Art Graph Water Soluble 6B. And I'm gonna start. And I actually, when I did see this part, I was thinking I'm going to use that for her dress. Maybe that. So let's see. So it's going to be a collage, painting, mixed media piece. I do like the tear edges better than the cut edges. With this kind of papers I like to use the gel um, medium instead of a liquid medium and I use my silicone brush which is really handy so let's start gluing down.
It is a water soluble, so it, it's gonna be activated when I paint over, but I don't mind it. I use it for my trenches to get, get some shading at the same time. Okay, now on to the painting of the... I did use also water soluble materials here. It is basically watercolor and some shimmer spray and whatnot. So it's gonna be... It's gonna lift up some stuff. I could have fi uh, used the fixative, but I just... I just don't mind it if it is... Working a little... I'm a little bit more careful in these places. where I have the pencil but as I said I use it to my advantage So my next step while this is drying, and I'm going to use that for sure, I'm going to uh, punch out flowers. But I don't make you watch that, i just show you the beginning of it. So next I'm going to go in with the stencil and some diluted gesso. Um, I make sure that I don't go over the girl. I just go sort of to the, on the background from the girl, if I can help. <laughs> it's never a guarantee.
Okay, here's the part where I have to be a little bit careful. I don't want to hit the glue. So I'm nearly done. I'm just sort of putting some accents, means I place a certain colors in certain areas. what I have so far. I'm gonna work on the background a little bit more to make her stand out but for the moment I'm gonna work on her eyes. First of all I think I have to add a little bit of white so that they show up. So I'm gonna add some white. Go with gesso around her just to make her stand out a little bit more. I hope you enjoyed the video so far. 
And I just wanted to let you know I'm so happy for your comments and thumbs up, also for your subscription and shares. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel. So thank you, awesome followers. I'm gonna go in with some black or better night. It's not a black black, it's a really dark blue and a stencil. I'm just have the feeling there is missing something here. And now I'm also gonna go along the edges with the same sponge and the same color. 